You won't believe which celebs were blacklisted from The Tonight Show. Johnny Carson was the undisputed king of late night TV, and he didn't take kindly to anyone who dared to ruffle his feathers. In fact, there was a whole list of celebs that good old Johnny banned from appearing on The Tonight Show, and the reasons why will have you rolling on the floor laughing. One of the most notorious was the legendary George Carlin. Sure, the guy was a comedic genius, but his penchant for pushing boundaries with his seven dirty words bit apparently rubbed Carson the wrong way. The story goes that Carlin was banned after an incident where he showed up to the studio completely wasted and proceeded to heckle the audience. And that was it for George. Get on the wrong side of Carson and you're gone for good. You know you're in trouble when even Johnny Carson, the king of late night comedy, decides he's had enough of your antics. While the legendary host was known for his charming wit and ability to bring out the best in his guests, there were a few celebrities who just couldn't seem to play by the rules. At the top of that infamous list, none other than Chevy Chase. The SNL alum and comedic powerhouse was apparently too much for even Carson to handle, earning himself a lifetime ban from the iconic Tonight Show stage. Rumor has it Carson simply couldn't keep up with Chase's relentless need to one-up the host and hijack the spotlight. Whether it was Chase's penchant for breaking character, his endless stream of self-aggrandizing quips, or his blatant disregard for the show's format, the guy just couldn't seem to behave himself. So, Johnny said, see you later, Mr. Chase. You're gone for good. When it came to The Tonight Show, legendary host Johnny Carson was known for having a short fuse and even shorter patience for certain celebrity guests. And one of the unlucky stars who found themselves on Carson's permanent blacklist was none other than the iconic Farrah Fawcett. Rumor has it that Fawcett's crime was simply being too much of a diva. Apparently, her demands for custom lighting, a personal hairstylist, and a personal masseuse were a bit too much for Carson's modest backstage. And when she allegedly showed up 45 minutes late for her scheduled appearance, that was the final straw. From that day on, the Charlie's Angels star was banned from ever gracing the hallowed stage of The Tonight Show again. Poor Farah. She may have been an angel on screen, but in Johnny's eyes, she was clearly more devil than heavenly host. Ah, Frank Sinatra, the crooner who couldn't carry a tune, according to Johnny. Everyone knows Frank Sinatra as the smooth-talking, martini-sipping crooner who captivated audiences for decades. But apparently, the chairman of the board's vocal stylings didn't quite hit the right notes for Johnny's discerning ear. Legend has it that when old Blue Eyes showed up to the studio, Johnny took one listen and promptly shooed him off the stage. Not on my watch, Frankie, he supposedly said. Your voice sounds like a strangled cat. Come back when you can actually sing. Well, Frank did make it back to The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, but apparently Johnny just couldn't handle Sinatra's, shall we say, colorful language and unpredictable behavior. One too many F-bombs dropped on live TV, and Johnny gave him the boot again. Ah, uh, the good old days of late-night television, when Johnny Carson was the undisputed king of the couch. But even the mightiest of Hollywood stars couldn't always charm their way onto his hallowed Tonight Show stage. And one such victim was none other than the Italian stallion himself, Sylvester Stallone. Apparently, the Italian stallion had a habit of overstaying his welcome on The Tonight Show, much to Carson's annoyance. One fateful appearance, Stallone just wouldn't take the hint and kept rambling on, forcing Carson to cut him off mid-sentence to go to commercial. Stallone then just started rambling again. Carson apparently glared him down with that iconic Carson stare. From that day on, Stallone was forever banished from the hallowed halls of The Tonight Show. Moral of the story? Don't mess with Johnny Carson. The king of late night will put you in your place faster than you can say, yo, Adrian. You know, back in the day, Johnny Carson was the king of late night TV, and he didn't take any nonsense from his guests. In fact, there was one celebrity he banned from ever appearing on The Tonight Show again, the one and only Wayne Newton. Apparently, the crooner had the audacity to show up late. Not just a little late, mind you, but a full 40 minutes tardy to his scheduled appearance. 
When Newton finally sauntered in, Carson gave him the what for and banned him for life. But that wasn't the end of the story. Afterwards, Johnny would take occasional jabs at Mr. Las Vegas himself during his shows, often implying he was effeminate. Now, this had Wayne Newton steaming. He went to see Carson at his office and told him, this will stop, or I will kick your ass. Newton is a big guy, and the joking stopped. Now, The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson was like a rite of passage for celebrities back in the day. But there were a few bold-faced names that Johnny just couldn't stomach. Top of the list, the one and only Howard Stern. If you thought the green room at The Tonight Show was a glitzy, star-studded affair, think again. Legendary host Johnny Carson had a knack for sniffing out troublemakers and showing them the door, sometimes before they even made it on stage. Rumor has it shock jock Howard Stern was public enemy number one, banned for life after one too many, shall we say, uncensored anecdotes. And the final straw was when he showed up with a bevy of Playboy bunnies in tow. Carson was a stickler for keeping it family friendly. He also had a zero tolerance policy for divas, know-it-alls, and anyone who tried to upstage the king of late night. So, if you ever wonder why certain famous faces seem to always be conspicuously absent from the couch, you can bet Johnny had his reasons. And they likely didn't involve the person's comedic timing. Now, another celeb to get the boot was Arsenio Hall. Now, Arsenio was a pretty funny guy in his own right, but apparently he just rubbed Johnny the wrong way. Maybe it was the afro. Maybe it was the infectious laugh. Who knows? All I know is, if you found yourself on Johnny's naughty list, you were persona non grata on that stage. Also, apparently, Hall once called up The Tonight Show pretending to be Muhammad Ali, and Carson was not amused. And that was it for Arsenio, banned from the show. Back in the 80s, when Madonna was just starting to make a name for herself as the queen of pop, she apparently rubbed the legendary Johnny Carson the wrong way. The material girl was apparently a little too material for Carson's tastes. Rumor has it, after her first appearance on the show, she showed up for a guest spot sometime later, wearing nothing but a strategically placed crucifix and a come-hither stare. Johnny took one look and promptly banned her from the premises. Of course, that didn't stop Madonna. If anything, it just made her more determined to shock and delight audiences everywhere. When it came to the hallowed halls of The Tonight Show, there was one rule that reigned supreme. Don't mess with Johnny Carson. And poor Raquel Welch learned that the hard way. This sultry siren of the silver screen had a reputation for being, shall we say, a bit high strung. So when she sauntered onto Carson's stage, it was a recipe for disaster waiting to happen. Welch, known for her curves and comebacks, handled the quick-witted banter that Carson was famous for. A little too good. The two engaged in a verbal sparring match that left the audience squirming in their seats, wondering if security might need to intervene. Needless to say, all eyes were on Raquel Welch when she walked into a room, and Carson was not someone who liked to be upstaged. She found herself permanently banned from the show. Now you'd think being a famous celebrity would get you a free pass onto the iconic Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, right? Well, think again. The legendary host had a knack for spotting trouble and wasn't afraid to give certain A-listers the boot. One notorious example, the one and only Richard Pryor. Now, we all know Pryor as a comedic genius, but his wild antics were apparently a bit too much even for the famously easygoing Carson. Rumor has it Johnny banned Pryor from the show after the comedian let loose with some, shall we say, colorful language while performing his routine for Carson's audience. Apparently, the audience was in stitches and couldn't stop laughing. But Johnny was not amused, and Richard Pryor was added to the infamous ban list. That's like getting kicked out of the Playboy Mansion for being too sexy. You know, back in the day, Johnny Carson was the king of late-night TV, and he didn't take kindly to anyone who dared to cross him. One of the most infamous examples... Joan Rivers, the legendary comedian who found herself on Carson's permanent naughty list. It all started when Rivers had the audacity to launch her own late-night talk show, directly competing with the mighty Carson. Well, old Johnny didn't take too kindly to that, and he promptly banned her from ever appearing on The Tonight Show again. Years later, the two comedy titans eventually made amends, but the damage was done. 
Johnny's ban on Joan had become the stuff of late-night legend, a cautionary tale about the perils of challenging the reigning king of the talk show circuit. Back then, you didn't mess with Johnny, folks. He had a long memory and zero tolerance for upstarts. Now, we all know Johnny Carson was the king of late night, and he had a few celebrities he just couldn't stand. And one of them was the legendary Bob Hope. Can you believe it? The guy who made millions of people laugh was apparently not so funny to Johnny. Carson banned Bob Hope from the show for years. Apparently, Johnny just couldn't handle Bob's constant need to hog the spotlight. Every time Bob was on, he'd try to steal the show and make it all about him. And Carson just couldn't get on board with Bob's brand of tired dad joke humor. So Johnny put his foot down and gave Bob the old heave-ho. No more Bob Hope on The Tonight Show, no sir. Johnny was the boss, and he wasn't about to let some old vaudeville act upstage him. Talk about a clash of the comedy titans. Now, you know, you've really made it in Hollywood when the legendary Johnny Carson bans you from his iconic Tonight Show. And one such celebrity who found themselves on the wrong side of Carson's blacklist was none other than the always hilarious Martin Short. It all started when Short appeared on the show in the 80s and absolutely bombed his set. Carson was not amused by Short's zany antics and made it crystal clear he was not welcome back. Apparently, the famously deadpan host just couldn't handle Short's over-the-top high-energy brand of comedy. It was a clash of comedic titans. Needless to say, Short was one of many celebrities who would be banned by Johnny only to be invited back and possibly banned again. It was like a revolving door for many celebs who just couldn't seem to adhere to the Carson Code of Conduct. And another famous name that ended up on Carson's naughty list? None other than the one and only Barbara Streisand. Apparently, the notoriously diva-ish songstress rubbed the host the wrong way during an early appearance, and Carson decided he'd had enough of her demanding antics. From that day on, the door to Studio 6B was firmly closed to Miss Streisand, no matter how many Oscars or Grammys she racked up over the years. Ah, the good old days of Johnny Carson's Tonight Show, when celebrities had to walk on eggshells to avoid getting the boot from the comedy legend himself. It was like a high-stakes game of will they or won't they. One such unlucky star was Robert Blake. The Beretta actor apparently rubbed Johnny the wrong way with his, shall we say, unique personality. After a disastrous interview where Blake came across as unhinged and bizarre, Johnny thought he was a total weirdo and gave him the boot. Talk about a career killer. So, the bottom line, folks. When it came to his iconic Tonight Show throne, Johnny Carson was not one to mess around. The legendary host had a strict set of rules and heaven help the celebrity who dared to break them. From diva antics to tasteless jokes, you didn't mess around with Johnny. Have a great night, folks, and please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button, and we will see you soon.